वेलकम माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर डी एस मोंडे वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग एंड फूड इंजीनियरिंग के के वाघ कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी नासिक सो इन द सेकंड पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ लेक्चर नंबर सेकंड ऑफ पोस्ट हार्वेस्ट इंजीनियरिंग ऑफ सीरियल्स पल्सेस एंड ऑल सेल्स इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी स्टडी अबाउट व्हाट इज क्लीनिंग ग्रेडिंग सॉर्टिंग स्कैल्पिंग एटीसी सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट स्क्रीनिंग देन पर्पजेस ऑफ स्क्रीन मोशंस एस्पिरेशन एटीसी सो स्टार्टिंग विद द स्क्रीनिंग स्क्रीनिंग इज नथिंग बट द सेपरेशन ऑफ ग्रीन इंटू टू और मोर फ्रैक्शंस अकॉर्डिंग टू द साइज अलोन सो हेयर द दिस प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द बायोलॉजिकल मटेरियल दैट इज साइज प्लेज इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल इन अ स्क्रीनिंग ऑपरेशन ए सिंगल क्रीन कैन मेक द सेपरेशन इंटू टू फ्रैक्शंस so for cleaning and separation of seeds the most widely used device is screen when solid particles are dropped over a screen the particles which are smaller than the size of screen openings passes through the screen whereas larger particles are retained over the screen or sieve surface the grains drop through the screen openings by gravity by the action of gravity so the material which retains over the screen surface is called as oversize or plus material whereas the material which passes through the screen openings is called as undersize or minus material therefore a single screen can thus make separation into two fractions when the speed is passed through a set of different sizes of sieve it is separated into different fractions according to the size of opening of sieves so such screens has also provision of air blast arrangement so with the help of this air blast arrangement the performance of the machine or air screen cleaner get increases also the efficiency of the machine get improved so so these machine along with an air blast or a screen can satisfactorily clean and sort most of the granular materials so how the screen are arranged in any cleaner or screener the screens are generally suspended by hanger these are not attached to the body of the cleaner these are have suspended by a specially designed hanger and when these unit is oscillated by an eccentric unit they have a horizontal oscillating motion and at the same time a smaller vertical motion so this motion in combination causes the grain to travel downward to the screen and at the same time the grains are thoroughly stored during the passage out of this two motion horizontal motion helps the grain to travel downward the downward towards the other end of the screen whereas slightly vertical motion tosses or give some bouncing action to the grain so that the mixture is properly agitated or loosened and each and every particle of the mixture gets a chance to meet the surface of the screen therefore the particle which are um, which pass uh, which are smaller passes through the screen opening whereas the larger particle are retain over the screen surface and moves toward the other end of the screen and get collected there screen motions so the purposes of screen motion are to spread the material over the surface of screen b 
to cause the fine particles to settle at the subsurface and c to discharge the oversized particles so these are the purposes of screen motions screen fractions as we discussed little bit in our previous slides that is a single screen can make fraction into two so the material which is retained over a screen surface is called the oversize or plus material while the material which passes through the screen is the undersize or minus material also the material which passes through a particular screen and retain over a subsequent screen is the intermediate material so third the case number third ar arises when number of screen are used in a single or uh, in a one machine okay in a particular me machine you can use minimum one screen and maximum up to eight screen so the number of screen are mounted one above the other so mesh and space cloth so these are nothing but the names given to the openings in a in a various types of screens screens made up from a two materials one is the perforated sheet metal and other is the wire own so the wire mesh is usually specified by mesh which is the number of openings per linear inch counted from the center of any center of any wire to a point exactly one inch distance or by an opening specified in inches or millimeters which is clear openings of space between the wires that is nothing but the hole or we can simply call it as a perforation or opening in wire mesh it is specified by mesh when the openings are limited to two or more in an inch it is called as mesh in a particular screen if the number of openings are limited to two or more in an inch then that type of opening is called as a mesh whereas in space cloth the openings are one half inch or more than one half inch so this part will be clear will be discussed in a detail in our um, subsequent uh, video lectures that is the screen uh, screen openings and effectiveness of screens so what is aperture so definition of aperture is it is the minimum clear space between the edges of the openings in the screening surface and is generally specified in inches or millimeters the open area of square mesh wire cloth may be determined by the following equation p is equal to o square by o plus d square into 100 which is nothing but the o n square into 100 so where p is the open area in percentage m is equal to mesh o is the size of opening and d is the diameter of the wire so aperture is nothing but the clear space between the edges of the opening in the screening surface and it is generally specified in inches or millimeters that is up the another name of hole or the perforation is the aperture so this is the scientific definition of aperture so aspiration aspiration uh, is the concept where the application of aerodynamic properties of agricultural commodity plays important role so aerodynamic properties such as terminal velocity uh, drag coefficient it is plays important role in uh, aspiration process so there are various types of separators out of those aspiration separator is one of the 
one of those so in aspiration separator the fan which causes separation is placed at the discharge outlet so this arrangement creates a vacuum or negative pressure and therefore it sucks away sucks the light impurities from the mixture of the grains whereas heavy impurities drop at the bottom and that is clean grain are dropped at the bottom and get collected so another separator is the pneumatic separator which also works on the pneumatic properties of the biological material in that case the fan is placed at the air intake point which creates a higher or positive pressure and which blown away the light impurities from the mixture of the grain during cleaning process so the aerodynamic property that is terminal velocity it means it is the velocity equal to the air velocity at which particle remains in a suspended state in a vertical pipe or in a air currents so this is about the lecture number 2 this lecture number 2 is covered into part 1 and part 2 in a very detail thank you